we'll see what'll happen. On the blue side for amputees, we got Hammerhand on that Zinjo. Zyra gonna be played by Science. Dual Power gonna be playing Urgot. Right over there, Nyx87, the one and only. I play that Kale. Hot the Mouth guy is gonna be played by Metal Finmir. It's L3 RD, the Burgundian some words, and here with me, Volandum. What do we have on the purple side? Um, we've got Fancy Wolf playing Jarvan the fourth, the Lolly Brigade on Sona, Fat Me on Tarek, Armed Weasel on Talon, and Super Quack Duck playing Diana. I still have that little note for the Lolly Brigade. He is the Brigade Commander, and he is going to be seeing some interesting action with this one. Ooh. Is Super Quack Duck actually loaded in? Slash, um, is it loaded and ready for you guys or no? He looks to be at 0% yeah, for okay. me. I just wanted to make sure because I, I thought my client crashed too. That's unfortunate. We might be seeing a pause from the beginning. And never mind. <laughs> there you go. But, um, really interested to see Lolly Brigade not actually picking up a uh, CV. We saw him doing that um, last tournament, or yeah, last week with that tournament. He played, he put CV pretty much each and every time he played. And I felt like that was a decent kind of pickup or... Do you think CV was a really great pickup? CV is still really strong. You can use it to zone. Um, for instance, if you land it on a squishy like Zyra, she has to play much more carefully because you know where she is and you might be able to gank her. So it can buy you time like that. It can let you check where the bot is being ganked when you decide where to go. It's very useful in general. Yeah, uh, I mean, I guess Lolly Brigade is thinking about, well, they're going to be gauging on us with Malkai, they're going to try to catch in hyper position kinetic reverser on onto us, or Xin Zhao is going to go in, so exhaust yes. is going to be... Yes, not powerful. having an exhaust up top when they have Xin Zhao is likely <laughs> to be a mistake. <laughs> I mean, he goes in, he doesn't care about all the damage, he just heals it right back up, and yeah, that, that would be very detrimental for the team, especially with the damage output that usually Zinjo's have. Super correct, like barely getting it in now. The toaster is about ready to pop, hopefully. That's unfortunate. Um, new patches. I use some toast, actually. <laughs> new patches um, usually do this to a lot of people, and. There's a UI change with the new patch that we have. I mean, we have the new ping system um, on there as well. Have you liked the new changes uh, so far, Valendum, with the whole, I guess, refreshing of the, uh, the HUD, the HUD? I haven't quite gotten the hang of the new pings. To admit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that, that Once is... I know which direction they all are, then I'll be used, able to use them much more naturally. <laughs> I usually use a quick ping, so... Each time I try to quick paint, I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to choose something, and I don't actually choose anything, so I just randomly pick whatever is there, and like, oh, don't engage, please. It works as it used to <laughs> if you use just B-click or G-click without dragging. Oh, you mean if you just let it just ping it off by itself? Yeah, oh. and you'll get the original be careful or target pings. More you know right there, dang, that's pretty cool. I I um, I mean yeah, it's a cool new ping system. I guess you get the on the way and other stuff like that. But I don't know. I, I feel like it's another few more buttons that you have to add onto this game. Although in the old sense for Dota and everything else, that's kind of the usual thing. I think Dota 2 has the same system as well. So it's yeah. albeit I mean everything's changing to be. More unilaterally you know, um, kind of combined, but still, it's really interesting to add that little ping system and uh, well, the refresh to the game of League of Legends. Yes, In, it's more buttons, but they're not obtrusive buttons. Right. Well, unless you try to <laughs> do pings off of like the keyboard, then that's that is. If you job. just click, you'll just get the old ping you used to. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yep. We'll see about this matchup if we can get what we can get from Awesome Explosion Lolly versus the MTs. MTs, blue side, Lolly on the purple side again. Just quickly refreshing the video. 
What do you think? What do you think about these item choices? What do you think is going to be the bottom lane choice? It's <laughs> Kale. And then it is Super Croc Duck. You're right. It is going to be Kale versus a Diana. But uh, what do you favor out of that matchup, if anything? I really don't know this matchup. <laughs> I believe Diana will win um, between 6 and about 13 if she just goes in on Kale. But of course, um, that sort of thing will be hurt if Kale manages to land her ass on her beforehand. That is true. If Kale gets an early game event, we are we're good. <laughs> we're going to hit a pause right now. Outrageous. Yes. I would prefer to see a few more blue pots. Sona can certainly use a blue pot early. And so can Zyra for that matter. Yep, we'll probably see that in a little bit. Dog's calling out to say hi a little bit as well. I'm going to be right back onto this one. Give me a second as well, but if I don't know if you see anything, um, just uh, call it out. We'll be right back. Oh, I'll be right back right now. It seems that the teams are calling out to us in all chat, but unfortunately the streamer isn't displaying the all chat, so we aren't able to see the banter. Um, yeah, so if I didn't pause, what actually happened? I know Lolly Brigade um, cut out, but did he just like DC or is like his game crash? I'm not sure to be honest. Um, there's quite a bit of banter in the all chat if you want to see it. Yeah, I see it right now. I'm like looking, looking, looking. Our Skype died. Okay, so. Uh oh. A has reconnected. Let's talk about Bird and Verlandum. Mmm. That, that's an interesting one. <laughs> and I turn off the chat right there. Um, okay. What was I about to say? Yeah, so that's unfortunate if Lonely Brigade's gonna get attacked like that. Like, it, if they're talking about DDoS, that's not good. <laughs> but, what else is there? Fast Circle Blades, Rings, Rings Galore. I feel like Amputees is still going to be able to win this one out with even the kind of uniqueness that you have with Volley's um, team comp. Just because they still have both gap closers and still great AoE kind of ults. Especially with Zyra and especially with, um, uh, especially with the, the Maokai as well. So. Yes, Xin Chao is still really strong even after the nerfs. Yeah, I, I don't see anything bad that is going to happen. Although I like what Fat Me and Molly Brigade are even doing with the Sona sustain and plus the new uh, supposed damage output from Fat Me's uh, Tark. But I was like doing the math on it 2% of your auto, of your mana. That's what it is, right? 2% of your mana, that's... Well, it's 4% against champions, which is when it matters. Oh, that's, that's a lot different. <laughs> Think about it now. But even then, 4%... No, actually, 4% is ridiculously good, huh? That's quite good. For instance, a Rod of Ages gives you 650 mana, and uh -huh. that's going to be 26 extra on hit damage. That's magic damage, right, too, right? Yes. Yeah, so that's pretty good. And <laughs> the charge tier will be... um. 40. We'll see what Fat Me's gonna be doing with it. He's gonna be going with the Prospector's ring instead right now, but yeah, I mean, if he really thinks about it, unless he's just gonna build support Tark, then I don't, I don't totally know, but yeah, that's a really interesting little factor that Tark's new passive is really, really different. 
And we're gonna go off on the sides really quickly. Make sure, oh, my mouse is not even working for the game. That's not good. All right, so there's another pause, let's play. <laughs> Something that's been happening with spectator mode, this time now, instead of your screen not getting locked, it's looking like your mouse, I mean, your mouse cursor not getting locked, it's like the screen's not locking in. <laughs> pause. Competitive pause, guys, don't worry about it. it it's nothing new. It's probably, is it Lolly Brigade again DC uh, disconnecting? I think it was Super Crack Dog. Uh, that's unfortunate. This is why you get Ray Call, Kappa. Have we promoted that yet? I don't. Oh, the Ray Call tip? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I mean, each and every client and all that stuff. Vehicle esports. I mean, it's internet, and sometimes the internet can be used in a very unfortunate way and well we'll We're see back. if that actually works out for the teams and I cannot control my camera. Uh -oh. Good. Okay so we're gonna be seeing some action over the top lane right quickly. I'm gonna go keep it on direct camera for a little bit. See if I can fix this little issue right here. But we're looking at Volley Brigade and everybody on the team is over there. We're gonna have a skirmish coming up really soon for the top lane. Fancy Wolf gets a great knockup on Reason one off on the side. Gonna go right on the side. Science seems to be the first one targeted, but it's middle three and rear in between everybody. And first one taken down. Now Science is taking out a lot of damage. Gonna get hit in the ballot. We're gonna see the damage up with there. And now we're gonna see what'll happen with this team. It's looking like there's gonna be a clean sweep for the team. Um, uh, awesome explosion Molly, where they do capture up all the points, but now you see Metal Fury come back, but it's a little too late. And they're going to be contested or taken away from the team of amputees. Hmm. This is an interesting, cool thing for myself. Can't control my uh, keyboard or camera, but I can move left and right. But in all means, we'll, we'll still get all the action in for you guys. As we do see another skirmish over the top lane, Malkai is enough right now. We do see the Ninja going to pick up the J4. Malkai, or Arm Weasel going to chase onto Science. We do see the Hammer Hand off on the side. You're going to knock up onto Arm Weasel. Arm Weasel, can he get another kill onto the team? No. Hammer Hand, you're going to be back in way. Dual Power doing the same as well. But he's going to get cut off by me. Fat Man goes off on the side. Picks up a little bit more steam. Arm Weasel going to be trying to finish it up. And it is going to be Arm Weasel going to finish him with the kill. And we do see Arm Weasel double kill coming up from the Zin Show. Um, for this one, and yeah, I mean it's looking pretty good for the team. I just feel like how are how are we gonna go really come out from this one for um, the team of um, DTs because they are going down just little by little right now. Snowballing your bot lane is always a sound option. Yeah, I mean Super Hot Duck is pushing pretty hard onto Nyax. We'll see if Nyax can actually do something with that. But for now, we're just kind of roaming around the map, checking if we can get a jungle gate somewhere. And it's looking like they're gonna try to go for these relics, making sure that they are not contested, or they're getting contested. So they're is out of position and. Engagement happens. Lolly Brigade goes in, picks out, gets taken down. And the Arm Weasel pick up as well. Looking for Fancy Wolf, Fancy Wolf trying to get around onto here and get picked up from the side and yeah, Fat Man. You are a little out of position for the team and once they gauged on, it was a dead dead team for the team of Awesome Clues and Loli. They do have three revives up though, so they're going to use them and try to defend the point. Yep, and we do see Science everybody off on their hammer hand going right off on Loli Brigade. Loli Brigade should give them a little bit of damage up on the side. And we do see signs off one side as well. Great, my camera control is back. We do see the power getting you picked up from the grassy roots. And finally, amputees take back the windmill over there. With that me going to be pushed off all the turret. Great job by dual power pushing them off on there. And now we see Fancy Wolf on the side trying to come back in. Re-engages on the Malkai. Armies goes in and smashes down. Garrison is not going to be enough to save all the team. But Armies is going to go down. Fancy Wolf taking a lot of damage. Imbue coming up from Fat Me. Fat Me going to try to finish this one up onto dual power. And dual power should be taken down. Oh, Lolly Bridget doesn't actually attack onto Urgot. And J4 just dies off on the side, unfortunately. 
taking the uh, entire aggro from the windmill. Great job, job over the top. What do we have? A bot? Nothing really. It's, it's still looking like they're just both pushing and pulling onto each other. Do you think, like you said, he said Naya X could have the advantage or Super Quack Duck is he going to get the advantage right now? Super Quack Duck is up by about 5 or 6 CS at the moment and he might actually be able to get a kill here. Oh, Naya oh, X. Oh, Nyx has ulted a bit prematurely. Oh, a gank is something. Yeah, Nyx That's did ult really very early, rude. and I don't know if Nyx can get in there by Hammerhand. He does get to finish up on that gank. That may going to come off from the side, and he tried to defend yes. with team, but it was just not enough. Super Quack Duck's been um, revived a little unnecessarily. That might cost him later, we'll have to see. That is unfortunate. We do see Fancy will fall on the side. Gonna go re engage on the team. Lolly Brigade off on the side, too. Taking up on Science. Science can be taken down very quickly. Arm Weasel gets, gets the high precision connect reverser. Memory pushing in the back by Arm Weasel. Should be the one taken out right over there. Double kill coming out from Arm Weasel. Picking up on the that one on the Maokai. Hammerhand coming right back in. Gonna go re engage onto Fat Me and Lolly Brigade. Lolly Brigade is gonna try to heal up the Tark, but the gem is not going to be strong enough to be able to save out now Lolly Brigade. Should be dead again, Hammerhand just exhausts Lolly Brigade, and Lolly Brigade is going to get it out of there, and they're resisting up, but the damage is done no matter what. They did take back over the windmill, and amputees will be able to get that point yet again. Yes, they... Lolly team has, however, managed to pick up some more items for the next fight, so we'll have to see how it goes. Yeah, the items could be a definite determination factor for this one. Looking at them right quickly, Brutalizer and Fast Rush Deployed. We have the Sweeper coming out from the Sona. Glacial Shroud on top of the Kindle Gem for the Tark. And they're looking for this one. They sweep out, they find the team of Amputees, and we're going to see what's going to happen. While on the other hand, Amputees, Hex Shrinker for the Urgot. Got Brutalizer as well. Got the Sweeper for the Maokai, not surprising. I mean, we have pretty much the same kind of setup, except for Dreads the Spectral Lantern on the, um, on the Zinjo, while J4 only has Mercury Treads. This will give them a decent chance to shut down the Talon during his ultimate. Actually. This, yeah, the Dreads the Spectral Lantern is going to get True Sight, and we're going to see Fancy Wolf go right in. Science going to be the one getting focused upon. But Ennis is going to get up just a little bit longer. Unfortunately, one for one trade for now. Hammerhand comes right back in and tried to do a lot of damage to Arm Weasel. That was just not a great engage from Awesome Explosion, just because, again, they fought right in between Vengeful Maelstrom. And when you fight between that, you're not going to do any damage to the team. Great job by the Maokai, really mitigating damage down on the team. Again, it was a. I guess it was a great engagement, right? But yeah, the damage output was just slacking just because, well, they're fighting under El Maokai, I feel. Quite a lot of their damage. Jarvan, Talon, Sona all have quite a lot of damage, but most of it is burst. Mm -hmm. And so they took down Zyra, and then they sort of all picked different targets and weren't able to kill anything. And that is also a big thing that they need to watch out for. They need to get those one two combos onto one two people, not three or four in that little meantime. While the brigade gets the sweeper, sees who's in that brush. Fancy Wolf on the side can look, try to engage onto this, but don't think they want to, but they do, they are gonna try to cage when the ventral maelstrom is not up. Unfortunately, <laughs> Melafinry with that ventral maelstrom is gonna be Okay, he's, it's already up and he's ready to go yet again. Yes. Let's see a little sneaky tactic. Are they gonna find everybody? Fancy Wolf goes in. Hammerhand gonna get caught out first and he's gonna be taking a lot of damage in the beginning. Science not getting in focus though. Gonna get some good damage on that backside, but Science gonna be taking down just because he is a little bit too squishy. Fenrir now taking the focus. It is Arn Weasel gonna be facing off against the deal power off on the side and pick off as well. But Arn Weasel with that triple kill. And be able to shut down the team just for a little bit longer, and the windmill gonna be taken by awesome explosion. We're seeing some very strong AoE from both sides here. That basically means that good initiations can decide fights. That was an interesting uh, gank by the team at awesome explosion. Like I don't think 
you really would expect that brush to be like a good ganking point, but yeah, they do a pretty good job just hiding themselves and unfortunately when Zin uh, face checked the bush, it was Zin's demise. And when you don't have that tank in the front line or anything to peel off for the Zyra, the Zyra couldn't really be too much effective right after. Yes. To be fair, they have enough um, self reveal that they could probably use it to check something. Oh, hammer him, and uh, Nick's gonna go try to go on the fancy wolf. Fancy wolf gonna take out one. Can he take out the second one? Unfortunately, not, but it is gonna be the point gonna be taken away. We will see for that bottom lane. If that point is taken away, it's gonna give that damage buff for the team of Amputees. Amputees not gonna be pressuring that top windmill right now. We'll see if they can actually take down that me. Everybody else off on the side. Only Brigade, Arm Weasel just waiting and biding his time. Hopefully they can hold off a little bit more on this turret, but it's in dire need of some help. And we're going to see Fancy Wolf actually go to the bottom and try to go again over on to the scale. And this windmill is probably destined to be going down for the team of Oh, uh, They bought a bit of time with the garrison. I feel that Talon should probably not be standing in open sight. He should probably be above the windmill, otherwise in the fog of war waiting to jump on people. They've decided to give up the point anyway. Yeah, the assassination attempt would have been very tired of need. Plus now they know now there's four people on top of all this engagement is gonna be very detrimental and all oh, the damage output coming up from the turret as well. And they add on. But we're gonna see Zyra go down first, then gonna go chase on the light brigade, but Iron Weasel comes in, double kill onto there. Oh white one is there was a bad engagement. Iron Weasel says nope, nope, nope. And he's gonna be able to take a triple kill. Yet again, 15, 4, and 5. And Dick it was very up. lucky Jarvan made it there when he did, so he and Sona could counter engage. Uh, we do see an engagement. Arm Weasel going to be going down right quickly as well. Hammerhand going to take that double kill. Fancy Wolf now going to be taking a lot of damage. Catacombs going to be used, but I don't think the Catacombs is very useful on that point. And great job by the team of OzPT saying, no, we want to recapture this point and we want to make sure that you don't have that. Good job, Jim. Just really rushing up to the top lane. Super crack duck on the side, looking around, trying to get where Nyx is at. Nyx is just poking whenever he can, but Super crack duck does have that shield. Here comes the engagement, and oh, here comes the gank. Fancy wolf and fat me off on the side. This is a dead Nyx, unless fat me just disengages. No, he will not, and he will be able to pick up the kill through the shatter. Camera hand now. He's going to be doing a 3v2 kind of block, and they actually finish it up with Zyra coming off on the side. Here comes Kale with the revive. Fancy Wolf not going to be taking a lot of damage, and now we're going to see Armour Weasel going to be the focus. Back away from this one, and everything will reset for this bottom lane, but really great job picking up that kill onto Nyx. We have Maokai back capping, and Sona going for top now. Yeah, but we do have the Armed Weasel yet again being a main focus or a focal point on this game. Gonna try to rotate over in the top lane. Fat Me gonna be rotating as well. It looks like the pace right now for Amputees is doing pretty well. As long as they can keep some Explosion Lily uh, off on their toes, it could be a really good one for the team. But you see off lane Explosion now over at the windmill 4v4. We'll see if they actually come in and actually fight down. Hammerhand gonna do a 2v1 off of Fancy Wolf and Fat Me. You're gonna see Zod come out and Fat Man using the Shatter is in a little bit of trouble. Now everybody has back on the team. Some crazy three times go in for the ultimate. You make it in. Oh, that is so unfortunate. But Arm Weasel as offside. You're gonna go keep on doing the damage. You're gonna pick up the kills. It is gonna be Sona and Arm Weasel picking up one. But it is a double kill for Arm Weasel and a triple kill. No, it will not be Fat Man taking away from that one. And actually, what happened in the bot? Nyx is no fighting on Super Crack Duck, but Super Crack Duck should be taken down pretty easily. Nyx should just clean this up way, way too quickly. Only problem is, Nyx is gonna lose both the Windmill and the Claw. So, uh, I don't know if it's totally worth it to clean it up. I mean, you needed to clean up up versus Super Crack Duck. For the one cap, but I'm pretty sure that cap over there by the claw is just going to be coming back onto the team of Oslo Explosion. So it's going to be 3 to 2 caps. Oslo Explosion is going to have to lead for a little bit, but MPTs, they're up ahead by pretty much 56 points. What do you think MPTs is going to do uh, again? Are they going to keep on pressuring this bottom lane or I mean, windmill, or are they going to try to go for a back tap on the drill? 
Um, I'm not sure which team has stronger team fighting. Both of them are maintaining very good map presence, just staying grouped up near their speed tries, as you can see. Mm -hmm. I mean, and uh, there is that ganking uh, coming by the looks of it. Yeah, Nyx, and we're going to see the map kind of going to switch over in the bottom. And actually, no, Nyx is going to top lane. Arm Weasel probably did see Nyx, unfortunately. So we're going to see if they're going to be rotating and trying to smash over onto this team. Nyx is going to provide a lot of damage. Oh, Nyx could just be... He'll also checking. be able to counter a lot of that burst. That is true, and I, I guess that's a very smart play to put the Maokai over in the bottom. But super I expect really Diana good. to be able to win this lane, though. Well, not if she's being ganked by Zinja. <laughs> Hammerhand and Metal Finmir should be able to finish this one up pretty quickly, but Super Crocs can get out of there, gets the Lunar Rush onto a minion, still walking away, but it is Hammerhand. All day she's charged and all three talent strikes with the Metal Finmir. This is advanced and be able to take out that kill. It's 3v4 over the top, though. We'll see what they need to do. Arm Weasel goes in. Damage output first, not going to be enough to take down Science, but right after the intervention is down, it did not matter. Dual power should be taken out from the second side. Double kill coming out from there, and a triple kill yet again for this Arm Weasel. Ridiculous stuff that is happening from him. 25 and 7. I feel like he's doing a really good job for his team right now. Yes. We do have the, um, the Boneyard actually being picked up from the team, so I guess Metal Firmer and the team did push up pretty hard. You see Fancy Rolf and that me gonna be 2v1 on Hammerhand. Hammerhand gonna use the um, proc from Zero Moves, but Zero Moves is not enough to save out that tower. And again, the Claw gonna be able to, or the Refinery gonna be able to be picked up yet again. And we'll see what is gonna happen for the team Amazie. So we're gonna get only one cap versus four cap right now. And Awesome Explosion doing a pretty good job, especially on that fight where they did have, or they had the KL amputees. But yet, still, the damage upper was just way too strong from this talent slash from the team of Amp Awesome Explosion. Do you see Nyak or Nixon on Dual Power sweating out in the bushes? Fat me, gonna go chase in. Oh, looks at the Dual Power. Now we see Nixon being chased upon by the knockup. Oh my gosh, the damage mitigation is not gonna be enough. Science could not get that ultimate down in time, and Arm Breeze is gonna chase with the warmers. Oh, you have to proc active. Hammerhand gets taken out so fast. Oh my gosh. This team is so dangerous right now. Oslo Explosion just pushing up. And I think they did find something with this uh, Sona and Tark because they're going to go in trying to get a 5 gag. Oh, Arm Breeze should be able to be taken down, but Super Crack Deck will be able to capture the point. And it's going to be a 5 cap for Awesome Explosion. Just looking at the spells. I mean, it's just a lot of tankiness, damage output. I mean, it's really good coming out from Poly, uh, from the Volley Brigade slash Awesome Explosion. Do you agree that like the Sono and Tark is adding on to the dimension for these like AOE fights where they have like? I do. Yes. Once Tark finishes his Frozen Heart, there that will have an even bigger impact on fights because a lot of their damage is coming. Zin Zhao and Kale. Um, they've got two Aegises as well, and plenty of stealth reveal. Yeah, with this double. Do you just look at how many assists everyone on some explosion has? 28, 28, 27. They're doing a really good job to keep up on while well, team fights in general and keeping themselves alive literally through everything. This is pretty strong. I mean, you have the best of two worlds. You have the Auras to really protect and give you more stats, which will, again, get you better team fights. But you also have the AoE stuns, the stuns down, and wow, a really dangerous comp that's coming out. And see, yeah, see Wolf go right in. Into giving science right there this is the talent. Arm Weasel going to go taken down from Nyx very quickly. Great intervention, knocking out a lot of that damage that um, Arm Weasel was going to do, and Molly Brigade and everybody just falling apart. And right when I said that their team comp was pretty solid, it might have just broken down just for a little bit. Hammerhand gonna go around there, gonna get healed up, and Fat Me gonna be taking down. Great job with Dill Power picking up that kill. And then Arm Weasel says nope, revive up, and gonna try to take down the team. Dill Power coming onto this, he's gonna do a lot of damage up. Can Arm Weasel do anything to camp back? He does have a Bloodthirster, but I don't think that was enough. Meanwhile, Wally Brigade comes in, him a Valley down. And now you're gonna go touch down onto Fat Me gets a stun off on there. And Lollipop should be able to pick it up with Fat Me's 
Oh, well, three hits and damage. I'll put it right there. I'm gonna throw up on the side. Gonna see where the science is. I'm just gonna go backwards for a little bit. Gonna go right towards back to the base. Do you see the matchup over the bottom? Super correct. Okay, Metal Finn right now. I've been doing a pretty decent job just keeping up, but um, unfortunately, Diana has been doing a better job off on that one. And now, next, we're rotating over to mid. Oh no, he's gonna go try to catch on the Super Crack. I think Crack is gonna take tons of damage, gets re engagement, but they ultimately going out from Nyx. Is that gonna be enough to really save out? Oh, Super Crack is still gonna be chased. I don't know if we're gonna be kill. Meanwhile, we saw the Zyra getting picked off, and unfortunately, that was a pretty good thing for the team. It's looking like this is going to be the end for the road of amputees. Can they capture this point to actually neutralize it? Dual power needs to get out there to at least neutralize the point. But it is not going to be enough. It looks like amputees will be going down. Oh! 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 Hi. One more point. One more point left. I felt like You saw the GG's out. come out as well. <laughs> Lolly is gonna be back. They're gonna try to back cap this one. They, if they at least neutralize it, it should be fine enough. Metal Fame Ram gonna go down, take a little bit of damage. It's gonna be knock out, knock down on the Metal Fame Ram. But the awesome damage, plus Nick's gonna be using the intervention on the Metal Fame Ram. Could this be enough to change the fight? Arm Weasel says no, and it should be the win. And oh no, here comes Science as well. Dual power. We try to hold up as much as we can. Garrison gonna get down. But here comes Super Crack Crack and assassinate. Iron Reasel gonna go back in and we do see the Zyra pass be around. Can they actually finish up this point? Well, and while we do see the back cap of that, uh, Sona trying to go for the windmill right now. He does have help with the J4. I feel like this is any moment this game is gonna end. But MPT does pick up one for the talent. And now Nick's gonna come right back in. Gonna pick up a kill off of that one. But J4 and the Sona gonna be able to take out Hammerhand. Oh no, Science coming right back in. Gonna pick up the kill on the J4. And then Lolly Brigade gonna go right onto Hammerhand. Hammerhand is gonna resustain up with three times back and all the other goodness to be able to pick up the kill. Oh, Lolly Brigade, what the? Gets a great power core to finish up that kill onto the Zinjo. And unfortunately for the team, they're falling down. 77 and 76. This could be the turn for the game. If to be fair, Amputees just burnt all their revives for that okay. last series of fights. Um, most of Lolly Brigade's revives are down though. Um, only Super Crack Duck, the bot laner, has his revive. We'll have to see how this goes. Oh man, this is looking pretty bad for Awesome Explosion. If they can't get this one, it's gonna be dangerous, but they're gonna go try to go for the four cap over the back. And then bottom, that up here, and a bit amount of trouble if they actually go for this game. Nyx does find the Sona. They're gonna try to kill the Sona right quickly, but Finrear and everybody else is gonna be taking it down over there. And it is gonna be the point to it down, and it is gonna be the G to the GG's, hopefully. Oh yeah, it's looking like that. Great job by Awesome Explosion. Just gonna be able to just gank over at bottom, pick up that kill, and try to take that down. They want to save they're that. They're oh. oh. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so far, <laughs> great job by Awesome Explosion picking up the win in this round two matchup. Beautiful, beautiful game between Amputees.